uh, Natural Farmers uh, this month again with Michael News, interviewing Adam Dole. He's a good friend that came over from Massachusetts to take some training. And so he and I get into it and talk the details of what transpired this month. I uh, hope you enjoy. Check it out. Aloha. Aloha, what's happening? Aloha. <laughs> so, uh, KNF Micro News for January. Uh, this month for me it was super busy. I uh, started out with UK and my class in December. Right. And then went right into January, and then I had another class starting right after the new year. Right. And um, had about eight students come out and did some live classes as well. Wow. And then also in Hawaii, um, you went to um, Han Kyu Cho and um, Cho Young Song's lectures, right? Yep, that was for two days. Uh, was that two weeks ago, I would you say? Yeah. Yep. Do you have any highlights from that? <clears throat> um, I was not super familiar with the Jadam uh, techniques, so it was a really good introduction and explanation of those techniques, which I thought was, was quite cool. Um, I definitely enjoyed... Uh, Master Cho's uh, presentation. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it. I think they're going to the mainland. I'll check them out. Like this summer, I think July, they're going to be in like, California and the Pacific Northwest. Cool. And I, I will be as well. Okay. I'm going to be touring. I'm going to go to Texas and then along um, the West Coast and then to Colorado through Michigan and then the East Coast as well this summer. So, nice. Yeah, a lot of natural farming, I think. Are those going to be like um, talks or more like classes? Uh, it's designed to be a uh, kind of like a two-day conference. Cool. So uh, one day, kind of, um, I'm going to be traveling with Ray. Okay. So one day will be kind of us presenting and doing some things, um, and then second day, lots of hands-on and as well as panels. Nice. So, so one of the things I'm trying to do is to reach out to people in the region okay. to say, hey, have you been practicing Korean natural farming? Mm -hmm. and then invite them to come to our conference so we can kind of pull together and, and share and, and breed this um, localized support in, in more regions. Nice. Real good. Um, I'll definitely be trying to foster something like that um, as soon as possible back in New England, Northeast United States, where I'm from. <clears throat> I think it's still pretty new. There's a couple people I've heard that are there doing it, but um, I'm just sort of starting to um, make connections and network. With that, and uh, I'll be practicing it on my farm this year in Essex, Mass, just north of Boston. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to get some good results, and you know, uh, yeah, just show some good results. And uh, I'm definitely well equipped, having taken your class. So I, I think my thing is going to be building soil out of what I've got available there, which is a lot of uh, deciduous leaf base. So I think I got the tools to, to turn you know what's available in my region into like really good kind of tilty soft soil, whereas what I'm sort of starting with is pretty pretty clay, um, very compactable. So um, I think getting the organic matter to break down using the IMO, so getting a lot better like physical condition to the soil plus all the microbial life um, and the nutrient cycle um, recipes, I think it's going to really, really take off. It's going to be good. So Hopefully we get good weather. That's always the X factor. Being a farmer, I'm always like knocking on wood. Like you know, I can really put a damper on a season. But all that sort of stuff aside, I think we're gonna we're gonna do good. Yeah, we get really bummer summer some years. And <laughs> we'll just get like cold weather and gray and a lot of Doesn't rain. Try out. Yeah, no, I can get that. But, but uh, yeah. So but, so do you think in your month of learning here? like almost everything is practical where you are in New England with your education how would you say it is like because I mean when you you before you before you came here you're kind of like fringe natural farmer right kind of just through the internet knowing things right then you came here to get this full immersion to like learn and see all these diverse things going on in Hawaii yeah. and now you're gonna go back in a week or two weeks or so Okay, and yeah. you think now, like you're confident this this year, like you're gonna bang it out with natural farming? Yeah, it's gonna have to be adapted slightly, you know, from a tropical climate to a temperate climate. But it's sort of like it gives you the tools. It's not really exactly like this is what you're gonna have to do, but it gives you the tools and the knowledge to go and assess where you are and 
and use the same strategies and tactics and tools to do what you want. I don't know how to describe it exactly. But, you know, so how to build soil, how to inoculate soil, and then uh, how to implement the nutrient cycle. Yeah, uh, I do feel it's going to need some tweaking, but it's, it's my familiarity with farming in my region for 20 years. Plus the knowledge here is going to, you know, I'm going to have all, everything I need to apply it right away for sure. Cool. And so what would you say was one of your highlights from this whole trip? Mm. KNF wise. First, one, one KNF wise and one non KNF wise. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I saw, I saw you go down to Beach, Poliki, all, all those things. I thought. You know, I'd say non KNF. Non KNF, it was uh, surfing at Poliki Beach far and away. Like, I don't know how many acres of new land were created by the um, by the eruption that happened, you know, this past year. But to be there on that brand new lava flow beach was definitely like a you know a spiritual experience, <laughs> like an earth an earth experience of unique magnitude. It was so cool. Um, KNF wise, man, I have to say it's like your your final your product that you're calling bio or not really product your material that you're calling bio, you're basically getting um, what I would say is like the richest smelling forest soil, you know, um, that you can immediately use um, from a pretty, you know, it's management intensive, but it's also passive in some ways, you know, in a way too, it's kind of like the system does um, a lot of the work, and that product that you finally end up with is, is really impressive, and, you know, the consistency of the smell, you know. Um, I'm sure the performance, I'm only here for two months, so I don't get to really stick around and see what happens, but it just seems like, you know, some of the best material, some of the best soil I've, I've seen, so. So the integrated animal farming, kind of like seeing, seeing how the, the, the microorganisms and that whole system just creates this, like, tilt, like, that, that being one of the... Yeah, I mean, going from the recipes that you make in the hands-on class to creating, um, IMO feeds or... I am all inoculated feeds for the animals. And then their sort of bedding system being kind of the, the, the compost turning pile in a way. It's sort of like the animals doing the compost turning for you and breaking down the material for you to a large degree so that you get a very finished, super high quality product, you know, using the integrated animals. It's sweet. It's like, it's, it's, what, it's, it's the best system I've seen. <laughs> so, cool. Cool. So, I mean, I'm not going to have animals when I go back. I'm going to be turning a lot more. So I'm going to be just thinking how much less work I'd be doing. <laughs> myself. I'll still be able to do it. I still think I'll get a great product. But, um, you know, a great end material. I don't mean product like something I'm trying to sell. I just mean, like, good material. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something but usable. You can sell it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do. Sell it. But, um, yeah, just like a usable material. But it's going to be a lot more of, you know, me being the, the turner. And I can see the elegance of the integrated animal style. And I'm not going to be able to do that right away. But that, I think, is the ultimate long-term vision for doing it on any type of you know, larger scale, medium or larger scale. It's going to be a lot of work to find a way for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Throw some here. diesel lines in maybe. Yeah. So. Maybe a little bit. Um, so, any last closing words to the Canada community? Uh, definitely come to Hilo if you get the chance and check out what's going on here with KNF. Come to Drake's Farm next time. I don't know if he's advertising any classes yet. I would definitely check those out. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of community here to network in doing KNF stuff once you scratch the surface. So, you know, come to a class or something like that would be a good introduction. You can network pretty, pretty easily from there and see different projects going on and stuff like that. So. I'll do that if you have a chance. <clears throat> cool. Keep it growing. <laughs> All the help. <laughs> <laughs>